are in AM 2012, and we're at the Dangerous Music booth, uh, and we're standing here with Mike. We're going to talk a little bit about their new product here called Source. All right, so this is our newest product. It hasn't uh, officially hit the streets yet. This is the first time anybody's seen it. This is the prototype model here. And what it basically is is just another monitor controller. This is the fourth monitor controller that we've made so far. And every time we make something that involves monitor control, we try to envision what's the next step, what's something new and interesting that isn't being done right now. And I think with the source, what we hit upon was for monitor control, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to add USB into the mix. So we found a way to incorporate USB input to the monitor control that can run 24 bit 192 digital audio without any drivers if you're using a Mac. Wow. If you're using a PC, you will have to download a driver until uh, Windows catches up. But if you're using a Mac, no driver. You just plug in the USB and you set your audio output to USB. And now what we're doing here is we're streaming our iTunes via USB. And what that achieves is the ability to use our D to A converter that we have in our monitor control instead of the D to A converter that you use on the laptop. Nowadays, a lot of people are traveling, they're bringing their laptops around and they're just listening, sticking their headphones into the headphone jack, listening to the music that they're working on. It's not really the most accurate way to monitor, especially if you're doing a mix, if you're recording something, if you're just editing, you can get away with it. But for the most part, you want to have the highest quality monitor that you can possibly get. So if you're traveling, laptop fits perfectly right on top of this guy. You can go USB out of your DAW or your iTunes or your sequencer or whatever program you're using. You just go USB out right into this guy. And so now we've got speaker source and headphone source. This allows you to have different sources feeding the two different areas. So you could have one source feeding the speakers and a different source feeding the headphones. So why that's cool is, let's say you're working with an artist. You're gonna work on editing the track, so you're gonna be listening to the output of your DAW via the USB. So you're gonna, ha you're gonna be here, and you're gonna have your monitor control right here, and your speaker selectors right here. Now the artist, you guys might wanna multitask. Budgets are low these days. You can be doing that while the artist plugs their iPod in. There's an eighth inch negative 10 dB input in the back. They can plug their iPod in to that jack and they could also plug a keyboard into the regular analog input and they could listen to both those sources simultaneously through their headphone amp and they could work on writing keyboard parts while you're editing the track. All through high quality monitor pass. So, the two different ways you can operate this is in this summing mode where you can have multiple sources combining all going out of the same output so you can listen to up to all four sources at the same time or you can quickly go into setup and switch back to regular toggle mode where you can just toggle between sources and only listen to one source at a time you can either do toggle or combining mode on headphones or toggle or combining mode on speakers, so you can, they can be completely independent. You could be toggling on headphones while you're combining on speakers, totally independent. And this also applies to the speaker outputs. You've got two separate speaker outputs which you can use to have two different sets of speakers, or if you like to use a subwoofer, you can plug your sub into speaker output two and now toggle that on and off and have both going simultaneously. Very cool. Alrighty. Well, thank you there right. very much. Appreciate it, Mike. Have a Thanks. good nap. You too.